Hi, I'm Jo. I'm the founder of One of Many. And in all of the work that I've been doing with women over the last few years, uh, myself and our coaches have discovered that one of the most crucial things that women have a tough time with is sleep. And it's one of those vicious circles. You need more sleep and then you get to overtired and it becomes harder to sleep. And I want to say you're not alone and it isn't your fault. Uh, I started my working life as a medical doctor and I remember a Harvard Medical School study that said that if you have less than five hours sleep a night, it's the same as operating at a blood alcohol level of I think it was 0.1, which is over the safe driving range. So if we're routinely operating at less than five hours sleep a night, we have a real problem on our hands. Our executive functioning goes down, our ability to make decisions goes down, um, we get snappy and cranky, you know, all of the stuff that I know we experience every day. Now, I think it's important to distinguish between acute causes of lack of sleep, like a new baby who's keeping you awake all of the time. I remember those days, they suck. <laughs> Um, a new business and you've got to pull a few late nights but you know it's just a phase or the end of a project versus a kind of chronic phase that you can get into where you're routinely having not quite enough sleep and it's really impacting you. You're absolutely not alone, right? We, we see a, an epidemic of women in this situation and in an order to push through and keep performing, they harness up an archetype which we call superwoman. Now, superwoman is that part of you that will have you soldier on, push through, make it happen, get up, you know, put the makeup on, cover up the bags with concealer and just get on with it. The problem with living in superwoman is she is an archetype which in the female body is fueled with adrenaline and cortisol. Now, these are stress hormones and these stress hormones, while they'll keep you alert and focused for a time, they were designed to work for 15 minutes. You know, back in cavewoman days when we might have been threatened by a cave lion, we needed adrenaline and cortisol for that, uh, for that response to get ourselves out of danger. When we live in it for more like 15 months, chronic stress of a job where you don't like it, for instance, or 15 years where you've been doing it the same way for so long that now it's just a way of being, on the brink of that horizon is burnout and you absolutely have to do something about that. So a good night's sleep can be the beginning, but when we're living in an adrenalized way like Superwoman, it can be hard to switch off that adrenaline cycle. Now we have discovered some, uh, some tips and secrets on how to do that, which I'd love to share with you. But in the meantime, what I would love to find out from you is, do you notice yourself in Superwoman? Does it impact your ability to get off to sleep at night and get a full night's sleep? How much sleep are you living on? Share in the comments below what a good night's sleep would mean to you. I would love to hear. And if you like this video, please do click the like button and share it with a friend, someone who you know could do with a little extra sleep and a little less time in Superwoman. It's been lovely to meet you. I'll hopefully see you again soon.